Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the iPad Pro 5th generation or the iPad Pro 2031. The iPad was released May 21st, 2021. When the iPad first came out, I was so excited about it since this iPad comes with M1 chip. With M1 chip, the iPad is so so powerful, you basically can do everything with it. You probably can replace your laptop. The iPad Pro comes in two sizes, the 11 inch and the 12.9 inch. The iPad is also really thin and not that heavy. I can easily put uh, in my bag for classes or anywhere I want to go. I have the 12.9 inch if you are wondering. It's a matter of preference. The 12.9 can be a little bit heavy and a little bit big for some people but for me, I like to do things in bigger views so this is perfect. Both the iPad comes in 128GB, 256GB, 516GB, 1TB and 2TB formats. The iPad is compatible with the second generation Apple Pencil. Apple Pencil attached magnetically and is automatically pairing and charging. I basically just need to stick the Apple Pencil to the side of my iPad and it's automatically charging and pairing. And also the magnet is really strong so I don't really need to worry about it falling. The iPad and the Apple Pencil together was really helpful for me for graphic design and I also edit a lot of my videos in here so the experience has been wonderful. I really recommend this iPad to everyone, especially students. I can do a lot of things and words on my iPad that I don't really bring my laptop anywhere anymore. Since this iPad can Bluetooth pair up to three devices, I've been pairing a lot of my accessories with it. I bought a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse for it. And I can do any assignments that I want to do anywhere I want. I rarely bring my laptop anymore since this iPad is so much lighter plus the keyboard and mouse is so much lighter than a uh, laptop. I also bought a case for it that I can easily adjust the height uh, to low and height depends on the words that I'm doing. If it's typing kind of work where I need to type, I will adjust it to a little bit higher. Uh, position when if it's about drawing and I need to draw on the iPad I will position it a little bit lower if you are a student like me I recommend you to use the Apple education website I bought mine for the Apple education website and I got 200 plus discount sometimes Apple would do this event where they would give free airports for whoever student that bought from the education website. I was lucky enough to buy the iPad when the event was happening and I got myself a free airport. I've been using this airport a lot, especially on my iPad since it's easily to connect. If you are wondering if you want to buy from the education website, all you need to do is verify with Unidays. I need to sign up for it and I use my student email. Make sure to use your student email because that's the only way for you to uh, get verified from Unidays and access to the education store. I've, I've tried before to use my personal Gmail and it didn't went through so make sure to use your student email. One of my favorite things about this iPad is the center stage. The all new center stage uses the ultra wide camera and machine learning to change the way you participate in video calls. What it means if I move around, the camera will automatically pan to keep me centered in the frame. Sometimes I need to turn on my camera for my online class and these features have been really really helpful for me. Uh, especially when I have presentation. I get really really nervous for presentation and sometimes I didn't notice that my face is out of frame, my um, face is too high with, uh, from the camera or too low, it's not centered enough but this iPad has been keeping my face on the center of the frame and made my presentation move smoothly. 
I hope it's a helpful video for anyone who's planning on buying the iPad Pro and bye. Thank you for watching.